from the crossroads of country music, here's the Ozark Jubilee, an every Saturday night feature of ABC TV, starring America's favorite country gentleman, Red Foley! Well, sir, hello there again, and to you folks who were just joining us, why, hello to you for the first time. This is uh, the second portion of a thing we call the Ozark Jubilee, and my name is Red Foley. You know, uh, if you folks ever want to come to this part of the country, you better bring your fishing tackle and stuff along, because this part of the country is known for its fishing holes. Speaking of fishing, why, well, you always remind you of uh, crawdad tails. We used to fish with crawdad tails. And crawdad tails gives me a cue for a song. So we'll go down to the old crawdad hole here and catch us a couple. Now you get a line and I'll get a fool, honey. You get a line and I'll get a fool, baby. You get a line and I'll get a fool. We'll go down to the crawdad hole, honey. Baby, my. Yonder comes a man with a sack on his back, honey. Yonder comes a man with a sack on his back, baby. Yonder comes a man with a sack on his back. You ought to see the crawl that sack in back, honey. Baby, my. I just want to ask you folks this. I wonder how many of you folks ever took your Saturday night fast in an old galvanized washing tub. Well, you ain't missed a thing if you haven't, I'll tell you. For one thing that goes with taking a bath on Saturday night with galvanized, in a galvanized washing tub, is that you had to go outside and push the tadpoles back and get down in there in the rain barrel and get you about four buckets of water and take in on the old wood stove and heat it up. And you went in there and took your bath, and you was uh, burning up on one side and freezing to death on the other. Now, some of you know what I'm talking about. What I'd like to do, though, I'd like to take you over here to one of these old rain barrels, just like we used to go out and dip water out of. Here's one sitting right here by the corner of the house. And Lord in mercy, look at the tadpole. Joe, come here and look at the tadpoles in that water. Will you look at some Someday, them? them will grow up and be big frogs. And not the kind that'll make warts on you. Look at that big, yeah, look at that size of that one. Hey, big, dog, dog, dog get, get, hold get this one out of here. My oh, goodness great. gracious. Good. <laughs> 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 I might have me about a dozen here.
reserve you folks to get a view of all those little ones there. There's one in there, that little tadpole we got out of the barrel. He's just about four years old. Uh, Buford Foster, come over here and sit with me just a minute. Bring these little ones along, will you? I want you to look at this. If I had about three like this, well, I tell you folks, Buford, it's wonderful. It must take a lot of time for you to train all these kids and a lot of patience, and we commend you for it, buddy. Thank you. We, uh, if we had about a half hour more here, we'd like to talk to all of them individually, but you kids, just look right in the right in the camera there and go by so Mommy and Daddy can see you back home. Go on, look in there. Ah, uh, say hello to people out there. Hi, look at that. Say hello. Oh, wait a minute, I want to talk to this dude right here. Come here, turn around here, look in there. I want to find out, they was a good couple. Uh, what is your name, sweetie? What's your name? Foster. Man and wife, huh? Oh, we're <laughs> brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Danny, this is your daddy over here, too. That's and right. and this, is, this is the little family right here, folks. Thanks. All the little Fosters and Daddy Foster. And our little tadpole we got out of the barrel, Johnny. Isn't he a sweetheart? Did you have something hey, you want to say? Hey, by the way, uh, anytime you well, want to go... Well, look in the camera there. What do you want to say? Anytime you want to go fishing, just call on me. I'll take... The call. Take care of the show for <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Well, friends, we're going to be back to Red Foley in okay, just a moment. Joe. You stay around, because the <laughs> evening's really young yet. Wednesday is fun day. Yes, every Wednesday night over many of these same stations, there's a great lineup of sparkling entertainment for the whole family. First, Disneyland, a wonderful hour of fabulous fantasy and fact. A weekly trip into the worlds of make-believe and true-life adventure on the program that's won more awards faster than any show in television. And there's the Stu Irwin Show, as Stu, playing the ever-popular principal of Hamilton High, tries to solve a never-ending stream of hilarious problems. And then see Masquerade Party, a half-hour of fancy dress fun with the stars. Peter Donald is your host with Buff Cobb, Ogden Nash, Ilka Chase, and famous guest players every week. And starting Wednesday, February 2nd, there's more fun in store as John Daly stars in Who Said That? A delightful new panel show. So make every Wednesday fun day by seeing Disneyland, The Stu Irwin Show, Masquerade Party, and starting February 2nd, John Daly in Who Said That? Over many of these same stations. Well, folks, you see me standing now between two of the... Uh... Wonderful people here from the Ozarks. Here's the champion post hole digger in Green County, Missouri. Yes. You can say that right again. here. <laughs> this is Shorty Thompson and his sweet wife Sue. All Shorty, right. uh, you know, uh, if you want to now, you've got an opportunity to plug one of your latest records if you'd care to. You and Sue. Well, Red, uh, <laughs> my latest record, you said. <laughs> yeah. Do you uh, have you ever heard of the Jeanette record? I uh, sure do. Star <laughs> Piano Company, Richmond, Indiana. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. To... That was my latest record. Well, that was 20 been... years ago, man. Yeah, you... <laughs> 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 Looks like somebody missed the boat, doesn't it? Well, <laughs> why don't you plug one of mine while you're in? I think that's the best, <laughs> next best thing. I was going to do that too. That's Red. a sneaky way to get a plug in, isn't uh, it, John? I'd like to say the hello, of course, to all the folks out in the Rocky Mountain region, particularly in Denver and in Colorado, and. Say, when we left there, you know, your record of, uh, as far as I'm concerned, was really setting the woods on fire. With my fire. daughter, Betty. Yes. We made another one called Never, sure. Well, that's the one we're going to sing now. That's what I was sneaking <laughs> up. <laughs>
got him. Shorty and Sue, you know where I was? No, where were you? out there. Somebody give me a wire here from old Tennessee Ernie all the way out oh, there in Hollywood. Well, you know. And we got another one from Gene Autry. Old Ernie sent me a recipe on here, too, you know? <laughs> Sue, you might want to use this sometime. It's called Hoopty Doo, but we don't have time to give you the recipe for it. Do you ever eat any hoop to do, no. anybody? No, that's a new one on me. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Shorty. Glad it was a pleasure. We'll see you later, huh? You betcha. Well, well, you know, folks, uh, last week the National Junior Junior Chamber, I'm a little out of breath. I was running out there to get this wire. Whew. The Junior Chamber of Commerce, our organization, named the Outstanding Young Men of the Year, and I happened to see all those fellows and enjoyed it. A bunch of intelligent, wonderful fellows. We got two boys here in the Ozarks who sort of felt a little left out on that, and I think maybe you folks can understand why if you meet them. Here they are. I hope you enjoy them. Flash and Whistler. Right there. <laughs> You reckon this is the place? I reckon it is. It sure is a big one. Yeah. <laughs> it's about the biggest I ever seen. Yeah, you reckon we're supposed to do anything out here? You know, they tell me when you come out here and it's all lit up, you're supposed to do something. <laughs> if I was all lit up, maybe I would do something. <laughs> Wait, huh? We're supposed to sing. Don't be scratching. That don't look good. Ha, you don't know how it feels. <laughs> Are you ready? Just as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Just let me close now. Because I've kind of been around and you haven't. You I'll know. get this as close to you <laughs> as I can. <laughs> something real wonderful coming up now. Uh, four boys, they uh, don't belong to this uh, quartet organization called uh, uh, Society for the Preservation of, but they're good barbershop quartet. What is that, that outfit? Joe, come uh, in here and help me on that. What's that, right? uh, uh, the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement. What is that? Oh, oh, Speb Square, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the Society for the Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America Incorporated. Unquote. Write me yeah. a letter, will yeah, you? <laughs> <laughs> well, here they are, the Fogo River Boys and Mandy Lee. Mm -hmm. Mandy Lee, I love you. Did I do my man? Seems as 
right now is when we take a little time out, friends. We'll be right back to continue tonight's visit at your house. Air Force know-how. The ability to size up a job and get it done. It may be in jet mechanics, electronics, meteorology, or any of over 400 other valuable fields that contribute to America's growing air strength. Air Force know-how is the result of top technical training as an airman, of working and playing together on a winning team. You're paid the full salary of an airman while training and emerge with Air Force know-how. Confident of your own abilities. Proud of your important role in the nation's sky defense. You travel with the Air Force, performing your job in all parts of the world, serving as a leader in Air Force Blue. Make Air Force know-how your way to success as an airman. See your nearest Air Force recruiter today. Folks, I would imagine one of the expressions most used in the South and here in the Ozarks is a term called, y'all come. Well, here stands a boy, a special visitor of ours, all the way from the great state of Texas. And he took that little term, y'all come, and sort of parlayed it into about a million records by such people as Mr. Bing Crosby and himself. We'd like you folks to meet him, Arlie Duff. Would you folks make Arlie welcome here, huh? Yes, sir. Tell me, Arlie, that you was a school teacher when you first got into the songwriting business and recording business, right? That's right, Red. I you wor worked my way through college and to be a school teacher. Worked your way through to be a school teacher, and now you have to work on the outside so you can remain a school teacher. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> well, did you ever have an ambition to want to lead a band? Well, yeah, I did, Red. I always wanted to lead your band. Well, you know, I think that everybody has had that ambition. As long as you're standing here in front of them and there's just one song that I know the people are waiting to hear, you give the boys a downbeat and it's your band and you sing, Y'all Come. Fine. And he means it. Y'all Come. Give it to him, Arlie. <laughs> Pay Arlie Duff off. So here you are, Arlie. I hope you this will keep you in spending money for the next week, huh? Well, thank you, Red, and y'all come. <laughs> Thanks so yeah. much, Arlie. Good to see you, man. I'll tell you. Well, in just a moment, my friends, uh, I'll have one of my songs of inspiration for you. 
Here's news about a grand lineup of five all-family television features every Friday night over most of these same stations. First, see the adventures of Rin Tin Tin, the thrilling exploits of a young boy and his dog in Indian territory in the days when the West was young. And then you're in for a hilarious half hour of domestic comedy as the Nelsons take over. Ozzie, Harriet, and their two boys, Ricky and David. And here's one family affair to which everybody's invited. Next, Ray Bolger will be singing and dancing his way into your hearts on the new Ray Bolger show. Filled with songs and high comedy clowning. MC Jan Murray helps keep proceedings going in that famous race against time, dollar a second. A merry 30 minutes of prizes for some and some laughs for all. And for tense, spine-tingling melodrama, see The Vice, a completely new story each week, featuring a cast of famous actors in tales of people caught in the whirlpool of life. Well, sir, we sure have our, we have had our quota of fun and foods just around here for tonight, and we sure hope you folks have had a little fun along with us. But you know, when it gets toward uh, going home time, uh, we like to slow down and get just a little bit serious with you. So right now, we want to try and set the music of this song, and it express, expresses a great message of faith just a closer walk with thee. It looks like the old clock has put us right out of business for this week, friends, and we sure hope that uh, you make it a point to be with us again next Saturday. Once you do that, always remember the welcome mat is out. Thanks so much for your cards and letters, 
And if you can't come and see us in person, write to us, won't you? Good night to you. Bless your hearts, and thank you so much. with us again next Saturday night for another Ozark Jubilee, produced by Radio Ozark Enterprises, Springfield, Missouri, and starring Red Foley. Joe Slattery speaking. Good night, everybody. This is ABC Television Network.